click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the hormones and now in this topic we are going to talk about the vitamins. So what are vitamins and what are the classification of vitamins? This is what I am going to talk about in this topic. So now let's get started. So when it's talking about vitamins, even vitamins are very much essential for our body and they are needed in a small amount. So let us understand that it's what are vitamins and what are the types of vitamins. So vitamins are the organic substance that must be supplied to permit proportionate growth in living being that is for humans or for the maintenance of the structure. So this is what the role of the vitamin is. And based on that vitamins are very much essential for our body and they are divided into two types and the two types are that is one is based on the solubility and the next one is based upon the chemical structure. So suppose if we talk about the vitamins, the classification of vitamins based on the solubility so therefore they are divided into two types and the two types are fat soluble and water soluble so talking about the water soluble vitamins first so water soluble vitamins are basically if you talk about that is vitamin b and vitamin c so these two are the vitamins that is if you talk about vitamin b then it is vitamin b complex that is b1 b2 and so on and vitamin c so these are basically the water soluble vitamins and they are not stored in our body so that's the reason we have to take it regularly and yes they are non toxic in nature and talking about that is vitamin c vitamin c we do understand that is it has been present in that is the lemon that is in the form of that is citric acid or we could also call it as that is ascorbic acid so they are basically soluble in water but they are not stored in our body and that is the disadvantage but the thing is it should be regularly consumed so talking about the next one that is fat soluble so fat soluble vitamins like vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K. So these are the fat solubles and that's the reason they can be stored in our body in liver. And this plays a very vital role. Suppose if you talk about vitamin D, vitamin D are also being stored out. They are also basically the fat soluble vitamins and that's the reason that they could be stored in the fat. And that is the reason that is whenever the sunlight it hits our body obviously there is a formation of vitamin D and that is how basically they are very much important. So talking about the next classification that is classification based upon the chemical structure and based on this they are basically classified into four types and the four types are So here we have four types that is aliphatic vitamins, aromatic vitamins, alicyclic and heterocyclic vitamins. So in that case suppose if we talk about that is aliphatic vitamins so in that case we understand that is they would have that is aliphatic structure and for that we have an example that is vitamin C. So vitamin C is an aliphatic vitamin so talking about the next one that is aromatic vitamins so in that case vitamin K which is also used or which plays a very vital role in blood clotting so in that case vitamin K is the aromatic vitamin talking about the alicyclic so in that case vitamin A is alicyclic and talking about the heterocyclic vitamins so if you talk about that is vitamin b complex that includes vitamin b b1 b2 and so on so therefore this are the heterocyclic vitamins because they not only consist of the regular hydrocarbon but obviously it will consist of the other hetero atoms like sulfur nitrogen etc so therefore this are nothing but the vitamins as well as the classification of vitamins that is what i want to discuss about and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe you can channel thank you so much